Today at the state capitol, the Mississippi Legislative Black Caucus condemned the passage of two House bills that they say is an attempt by Republicans to undermine the authority of elected officials and voters of the city of Jackson. House Bill 1020 would create a separate court system in the capitol complex improvement district with judges being appointed rather than elected. And House Bill 2889 would create a nine-member regional board to oversee Jackson's water system. Black Caucus Chair Senator Angela Turner Ford says she never thought the Mississippi legislature would turn back the clock so far and revert to, quote, Jim Crow era tactics. When you think back on Jim Crow, black codes, and legislation that came out of legally existing bodies to take property, to take rights and to take liberties that people who look like me had. It's difficult for us to continue to navigate this process with the idea that we're going to be effective unless we do something different. A couple of months ago, we got $800 million from the federal government. Now, last year, we perfectly honest. There was a lot of discussion about doing a taking last year, creating an authority last year. And when folks realized, hell, oh, wait a minute, we've got to, what about the liability? What about the debt? Folks backed away from it. But lo and behold, we get $800 million and they want to get involved now. Caucus members say they will continue to fight against these bills every step of the way.